Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buildcraft video. Today I'm going to show you a couple of different power systems that uh, create Minecraft Yules or Mega Yules f with some different mods including Buildcraft of course and Forestry and uh, Thermal Expansion. Firstly I'm going to sh show off this using Magmatic Engines. So first you gotta do is create a pump and pump some oil or oil or you know, lava into an under tank or something like that and just pump it into the engines. It's a real easy system and it creates a lot of power. The one downside is when you have nothing to power after a while the engines will stop running and you will need to right click with a wrench to start them let's get some golden conductors and we create four minecraft yules per tick so that's the easy way here's another way it's with regular bellcraft so first you, Liam, you'll need to collect oil instead of lava, like in that system. And you can find these oil spouts around in the world. The higher usually means more oil. Sometimes they spawn in, on trees or clouds and s things like that. And they just trick you. Then you need to refine the oil and pump it into combustion engines that you need to cool. Cooling combustion engines is really important because if you don't do it, they will explode. Here I'm cooling it with water from an aqueous accumulator. An aqueous accumulator handles can cool three engines like this. A pump from Billcraft with four redstone engines can, uh, I think it is, uh, it can cool two. And these produce, what is it? Six MJ per tick. So we create the most power per engine, I think, or uh, at least of, of those I have shown now. But those ain't renewable. But this is. So firstly, you will need a tree farm of some, ki some kind. And then you will need to sort all the saplings into a fermenter. And this is using forestry by the way, where you will need to supply it with fertilizer and water. Water is just uh, water, water is accumulator and your sorting system can provide it with fertilizer. And then you will need a still to make biofuel. And you can run biofuel in biogas engines that will need a little bit of lava to start up and they will create five minecraft fuels per tick or in a combustion engines where they will create four but i think the fuel lasts a lot longer in a combustion engine instead of a biogas engine so if you want energy fast you will need these engines if you want it to last longer if you have less saplings you will need these here is a system that's pretty cheap. You only need yeah, more basic resources. And it's just normal sterling engines, but it get filled by coal here. Most people use sterling engines in the beginning, and some just want to keep building them. I don't recommend this system, but you might use it. And here I, I think is the po most powerful system that's pretty easy to build. The steam boiler. Both liquid and um, solid fuel. And these are steel. So the only thing you need to do with these are provide them with water. 
like that and give them some fuel. You can use most fuel sources, like in this one you can have coal. Just put your coal supply into it, but you should know that it requires a lot of coal, a lot, to heat up. So you should have a quite big supply of coal before, or peat. And here you can put it in fuel and you can pipe it in or use barrels like I'm doing right now, just for show. And of course you can create that fuel like this or like this. If you have any questions about any specific of these systems, I could make a separate video about it and explain in detail how to make it. And if you want a quick answer, leave a comment. And thanks for watching.